computer. Okay, we are recording. Uh, welcome everyone. End of the month, February meeting 2017. We have Michelle, Melanie, and Randy and myself on tonight. So hopefully people can catch up with us. Um, tonight we're going to be going over basically uh, how February went and what March holds. And so I am pretty much going to go radio silence on this one. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to let Randy and Melanie do all the talking tonight because I just don't have it in me to do tonight. So you guys <laughs> rock it out. Our fearless leaders. Up first, who do we have up first? Who's talking first? Melanie, Randy, Melanie, Randy. <laughs> I literally, I hope that lines up because on my screen it's lined up to you. So. <laughs> All right, so we have Randy up first. Randy, take it away. All right, guys, I am so glad that you're on the call with us. Um, February has been a tough month for me personally. Um, I've, it's, been, it's been tough. I'm still adjusting to having a baby um, and the things that go with that. So um, one of the things that I'm going to recommit myself going forward is back into myself and back into my business. So I challenge you guys to do that as well. So one of the things that um, I'm going to look back into doing is uh, that I haven't been doing is reading, um, mainly because I have a baby. And but now I've pumped so often, and she sleeps while I pump. Perfect time to read a book. So one of the things that I suggest, and we've learned from watching our um, upline, and I've posted a picture of our upline from Janelle, from Melissa, personal growth books. Okay. Um, so those are some of the things that we can do to benefit ourselves to bring confidence into ourselves so that we can build our businesses and our families and our friends and everyone that, you know, come in contact with us. Personal growth is important, whether you're in a business or just wanting to go through life and just become a better person. So, um, another thing that you can do to help, you know, in what we've uh, gone with was trim up. Let's take your products, right? So um, trim up is going well. We've had several ambassadors do the trim up. Um, Melanie got us all in this uh, support group that um, I don't know where it started, but I'm thankful for it. Um, and we see all these changes happening. And I've been on trim up maybe a week and a half now. And I've like, I measured myself because, you know, I can't, can't not do it because I'm like, I need to see results. And I'm already down an inch everywhere. And I'm like, well, shoot. <laughs> That, that happened fast. So one of the things that is take your products, see results, right? So that's one of the things that I did let go by the wayside um, in February because of my moods and my emotions and I forgot. And because I, and I reverted back to some of those bad behaviors that I had before I started taking flexes. Now I've gone, I, I committed to the trim up. So of course I had to commit to taking the products again and be like consistent. And wow, my mood is so much better. Man, imagine that. Um, right, right. I know Lars is stopping. And um, it's, it's amazing how much better you feel when you feel better. <laughs> right. So, yeah. um, so another one of the things that um, we've hosted a lot of events in uh, February to benefit you guys. We've got more events coming. All right, so if me, Melanie, Larissa are not hosting an event. Somebody on our upline is. So one of the things that you can do to benefit yourself, to benefit your business, is to show up to events. There's online events. There's local events. If you don't know an event, find one. Uh, Co-partner with another ambassador. Um, because there's a lot of events that happen here in California that are not on our team, but they're on our team because they're Fluxus, and it's a one Fluxus kind of thing. So get with someone or invite someone to the business and get with them, right? So um, and build and grow your business. And um, Some of the things that um, I need to do better at and maybe needs to be reminded for you guys as well is to talk to your upline. We have, I posted a picture of our upline, so you know who they are. Um, talk to them if you need re-encouragement, if you need to get back into the zone, if you have questions um, that maybe Melanie or I or Larissa cannot answer. Get in contact with somebody, okay? Because they're going to want to answer you and help you out. So these are some things that you can do going forward in your business. Um, so some of the things that we've told you guys about in the February, and I just want to remind you, Trim up ends March 15th for to um, enroll. Okay, so March 15th is the last day to enroll for trim up. 
So if you haven't done your trim up, do your trim up. So it's, you're already taking the products, you might as well enroll, do the little things that it has you do, and when a possible trip to, to Disney, I want to go to Disney, okay? All right. Um, and then the convention contest is still going. Convention, it's coming up. I know some of us are already um, enrolled to go. Um, we've got our hotel set up. Um, if you need help figuring out how to get to convention, just talk to people about Fluxes. That's it. Get people on the products. Get people to join your team. And, um, you know, teach and train your team to become silver, gold, what have you. So those are just some of the things that I, that has spoke to me to tell you guys or maybe remind you guys about. Um, and we're always here, right? So um, you can come to us at any time. Um, some of you guys are better wanting to text message. Some of you want to pick up the phone and talk. We're down. All right, phone's open, send us a message, we're here for you. But that's all I had for you guys for me. I know Melanie's got some awesome things to share with us. I'm going to throw it over <laughs> to Melanie. She's an awesome co-leader. So give it, take it away, Mama. I try, I try. Um, so a lot of things that sometimes we bring up um, have to do with the business side. And um, so I'm going to talk about the non-business side, just because not everybody jumps into Plexus or joins Plexus for the business. And that's fine. Nobody is forcing you. Nobody's peer pressuring you to. But like the three of us, um, I'm speaking for myself, Brandy and Larissa, we all started to help ourselves feel better. Um, we all started selfishly. We, want, we had something to fix or help or heal or whatever you want to say for ourselves. And we weren't looking at Plexus as the magic pill or the magic answer, but it was sure as heck a better help than what we were trying to do alone. So um, I know that I have my back office open right now and I'm just scrolling because I'm looking and going, you know what, if I can just look and see names, whether I know someone personally or not, I know what their Plexus journey has started out to be and if it has changed or if it has um, mutated into something different or if it is become stagnant or if it's just done so I'm looking and I'm like okay there's a lot of a lot of differences we have people that love the products and they love being able to help themselves and we call you guys the wholesale ambassadors because you are buying products wholesale prices for yourselves and that's perfectly fine that's how I started so I was like, I am not going to sell nothing. I want to try this. And if I don't like it, no sweat, I'm done. Um, but it was totally different <laughs> for me. And, um, you know, it's always when you feel amazing, you can't shut up about it. You got to tell other people, look, I want you to feel just as amazing. And um, some people don't feel that way. And so my mind is boggled. I'm in major confusion right now because I see people that really like their products they order every month consistently and when I say consistently meaning it's not always on the same day every month it, it varies some people don't want their auto ship they log in and God God bless you to remember to log in and do it I love my auto ship but um, that way you are taking your products to help you feel better and that's great and you should um, but I'm going to pose a question and a thought, and this comes from me. It's not coming from anything else, so whether you take it with a grain of salt or not. Um, do you want someone else that you know to feel as good as you do right now? Um, if you don't, then you're being selfish. And if you're going to be selfish by not sharing how good you feel, then you're withholding something that can help someone else. So someone's probably watching this going, yeah, okay, whatever, Melanie. I don't want to share about it. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to talk Plexus to anyone. I don't want to pressure anybody. I don't want to push Plexus on anyone. I didn't say that. My question is, if you're feeling so great and clear-minded, energy, whatever, whatever, then why wouldn't you want to talk about it? Why wouldn't you want to post about it? You don't even have to hold up a cup of pink drink and be like, yeah, Plexus. You can literally just be like, I'm so glad I have focus today. I remembered the shopping list. Yay for me. 
hashtag mom win, whatever it is, you should feel excited to share about it. So it goes back to the original, okay, well, I'm not in this for the business, and that's fine, but if there's someone that you know that can be benefited from what you're also taking, then you should want to say it and tell it and scream it and <laughs> talk about it. So I don't go around with a plexus hat on my head all the time, but I do want to make sure that um, it's clear that if you're feeling great, check in with us. Um, it's really, really good to hear from people that they're doing well instead of us trying to reach out to someone on the team and say, um, well, I'm just checking on how you're doing. Like, how's it going? And then it's like crickets. So if you're excited and something went well that day and you're having like a magical Monday and you aren't sure about posting it, you don't really know how to tell, um, you don't know how to describe it, message us. We care. <laughs> I care. I so care if you're like, do you know that I didn't forget to pick up my son from school today? I'll be like, whoo, yes, that accelerator is working, mama. Those are many little victories. And I think a lot of us overlook those victories of good sleep, of remembering things. So um, I don't want people to feel pressure of all the business stuff. But at the same time, we're excited to work the business because guess what? If we didn't work the business, many of you wouldn't be here. If we didn't share about it because we felt great and wanted to share about it, many of you wouldn't be here. That's bottom line, point blank. And if I can interject really quick, Melanie, I, know I said I wasn't going to talk much, but it just, you reminded me of something. I, I was having a conversation this past week with another, um, I like being around other people who are doing, you know, a multi-level marketing type of thing. I like, even if it's not the same thing, like, I love brainstorming with them and swapping ideas and hearing about their journeys and their success. And, um, you know, one of the people that I'm starting to develop a, a, a good relationship with, she has, um, you know, over 30,000 followers on her Instagram account and she's local. And the one thing that she says, I mean, she's, she actually sells quite a few things. She has endorsements um, because she is a health sort of guru, um, but she does her oils. And she just said point blank, she's like, you know, I share about it because I like them. And on social media, I always talk about what I like. So it just makes sense to talk about that. So um, to, to Melanie's point, you know, if we like something, um, I feel like sometimes we get nervous to share because there is this business, you know, component to it. And then you don't want to be like that person that's always posting, you know, all these crazy posts about whatever they're doing. But at the end of the day, what we put, what the reason people like social media is because we get to peek in on each other's lives. We get to keep up with each other and we get to hear about cool new things that maybe we didn't know about otherwise, you know, whether it's a pair of shoes or whether it's, Hey, the McRib is back or whatever, you know, it tickles your fancy. But you know, if it's health and wellness and health and happiness and you're receiving that, then it just makes natural sense to share it on social media you know, not because of the business aspect, but because it's truly a part of your life that is making you feel better. Um, and then, you know, if a couple of customers come in from that, then, then awesome. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, uh, for, you get four preferred customers regularly, you really are going to be able to start pay paying for your products and hey, score bonus, you know what I mean? And your friends feel better now. So anyway, I'll, I'll duck back out, but yes. I agree. No, that was good. That was going to segue into my second part of it, which is um, the as I'm scrolling right through the genealogy going, okay, I can look and I see this person orders, this person doesn't order, this person, and I can see what everyone orders. Like if your go-to is that triplex plus accelerator, like go, like do it. That's your thing. Um, and a lot of the... Um, if there is any negative or any reason like, oh, I'm taking a break right now or, you know, I can't afford it. And the, my first question is, well, what was your why and reason to start and what changed now that all of a sudden you can't afford to feel better? Like that boggles my mind. If you want something so bad, you're going to make it happen, right? If I wanted my son to be in a preschool, a certain preschool, 
I'm going to do what I can if it's a feasible, realistic goal, right? We're not talking about a preschool. It's like $800 a month or something. And sorry if you spend that much, but I think it's ridiculous. So I'm not talking about something outside of the box. I'm talking to like this attainable goal, this realistic thing. And if I'm like, okay, I really want him to go to this preschool. What are the steps I need to do to get there? And that's not something that I have to work on over the course of a month. It's literally put a plan in place and execute the plan. That's it. Put a plan in place and execute the plan. Go through the steps. I have owned a brick and mortar business. I owned a dance studio for many years. And if I wanted to generate more students to come in, I'm going to put a plan in place and execute the plan. Same idea. So it goes back to, well, I can't afford it. My time, I get it. I get it. Things change. And we're living in a crazy economic world right now where things are freezing. Job fr jobs are freezing right now and the things are changing. And the one thing that is consistent is dedication, your consistency, and your drive. So if you have that for yourself, then the only person that's going to take that away is yourself. Because if you let outside sources influence you, your journey is done. And um, I think that's sad because a lot of people can just go, oh, oh, what was I thinking? Okay, I can't afford it. So in a nutshell, don't think that you can't do something and if you feel it's outside of your comfort zone and you can't do it or you feel uncomfortable then reach out and first and I know that's easier said than done some people go I don't like asking for help I'm an independent person I don't want to look like I'm needy I whatever whatever none of that comes across when we have an ambassador or a friend or someone that says I have a few questions what do you think so our automatic replies and be, well, what's going on? Do you need a three-way chat? Do you need to jump on the phone? You know, we're here to help. And like I said in the beginning, if we weren't working the business, most of you wouldn't be here. So we are working the business side because we feel good and we love how we feel. <laughs> and we love how we're generating positive endorphins in our brain. I mean, this is no joke. I'm positive like this all the time, you guys. It's a, it's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> so I am going to spread that because I'm tired of seeing moms walking around tired. And I'm tired of seeing parents like losing their cool when they can just like pop an edge and be happy, you know, all those little things. So if you feel like restrained in what you feel you can say or do, then lean on one of us for help. We have testimonies that are constantly growing. And I think every day right now is a different testimony for me in, in many different ways. But if you feel like, I don't know, just reach out. So don't be stuck and going, oh, okay, we're talking about convention, we're talking about this. And we are. And guess what? All three of us are going. Yeah, damn straight, we're going. You know why? Because we want to be around like minded people. We want to go to that that little spigot that has endless pink drink all day. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my big water cup and I'm gonna get a bunch of pink drink. I'm gonna be like, happy go that. I mean, I want to be around that because it's contagious. Happiness is contagious. So think about why you're doing it. Think about why you're drinking a pink drink every day. Think about why you're popping that edge every day and just focus on your why. And if that's too much to think, because now it's all of a sudden too much, then just drink your pink drink and be happy and communicate and let us know how you're doing because we're trying to make it work cohesively for everybody and we're trying to make sure we have good communication with everybody and everyone has different personalities and time frames and time zones and everything too so you know try to think of the things you know the back of your head that Randy mentioned the things that you can be building on if it's too overwhelming take a step back send a message and say, I have a question on X, Y, Z. And we can help you with the baby steps. It's not hard, but we're trying to help lead. But if you don't want to be led, then that's fine. Send us a message once in a while, once in a while and just say, hey, I'm good. Just checking in. It's all good. Uh, family life's been crazy. House is for sale, but I'm good. Like whatever the case may be. Because we care 
But when we're trying to reach out to check in on how you're doing and then how we care about your life, we get like crickets and we really want to know how you're doing. <laughs> so if anything comes out of it, um, if you are trying to do business stuff in the business side, then I suggest the one book. It's this book. It's Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Um, this will change that what you're actually working your business for. Um, I'm in my second time reading it, and I thought I made notes before in highlights, but yeah, I'm in it. So um, if that's your ambition, let us know. We'll read with you again. I, I will go through it with you. Exactly. Here's Larissa's. So this is key to business side, and if you're not going for the business, that's fine. Let us know how you're doing. Well, what I like about this is um, we have a team of people because it's a business. I love this quote, and I think it came from Broker Network Marketing. Is we're in a business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. I've I have other businesses, yes, and those are by myself. I'm sitting there in front of things where I have to create something out of nothing. Plexus is like here. I have products for you. Here, I have a team for you. Here, I have leaders for you. You have people to go to, right? And then if you own your own business, you're like, I am that person. And so that's a little more difficult. So we are here as a team. Um, we're all one plexus. And like I said earlier, if you don't have anyone, like if you feel you can't come, that's a sister person from someone else on your, uh, in your plexus journey. Because there's a lot of plexus people around you. Find someone. Get together with them. You know, and maybe just sit and chit chat and talk something, you know, and that's what um, convention is really all about is you get to meet amazing people. And that's where we get to meet all these people that we see on video, Sarah Marble, we get to see um, Danella Robinson, we get to see M uh, Melissa Eckenhorst, which she's our uh, diamond ambassador, but we don't see her every day. So these are some things that we get to meet to see these people in real life. Um, but the best thing you can do for your business and that Melanie and all of us and Larissa cannot stress enough is just take your products and, and just have that, um, you know, that special, like warm feeling about it. I and mean, when someone says, wow, you're feeling great. You're like, Oh, I take flexes. It's amazing. Right. Um, and one of the things that, um, I was, what I had been watching a lot of TV since I was in my downtime. And one of the things I noticed was I was watching a uh, late night on, I think it was Jimmy Fallon or one of them. And they brought on Sid from, uh, Irwin. Is it Mike? Mark? I don't know. The guy from the zoo. And his kid came on. And how he was talking to uh, Jimmy about touching pets, I was like, I need this kid just to sit behind me and tell me how amazing I am. Because if I had it's, kids... It's um, Robert Irwin, who is Steve Irwin's son, who was known as the crocodile, or, you know... Um, yeah, the crocodile hunter. If that the, kid was sitting behind me, every time I said something amazing, just because his Australian accent, whatever, he's like, man, you're amazing. You're doing a great job. Ah, I was like, <laughs> I think I would like my my endorphins would be at a new level just because of how how like passionate he could you could feel about it. So find that passion, whether it's about plexus, whether it's about your life, whether it's about ministry, whatever. Find your passion and let it just pour out of you. And I mean, you can see it in Melanie tonight. Just find that passion and just let it come out. All right. So that's one of the best things that you can do. Um, and just like we've been saying, we're here. <laughs> We're here for you. We are here for you. <laughs> um, but I know it's out of it's out of some people's um, comfort zone to reach out or say they need help or assistance, and I can relate very much to that. But it's not a vulnerable thing to say. Um, you know what? Can I get some help on this topic? Then you feel less vulnerable instead of I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Right. If that's a, however you need to say or, or help out, um, you know, help us to help you, then that, that really, that can really help all around. <laughs> and then we have some amazing things coming up for you guys. I mean, um, uh, Larissa and Melanie did a part one training on some of the Plexus products so that you can learn more about the products and I hear some um, little about the particulars of the product because they really dove into the alpha lipoic acid they dove into the chitinases and the probio 5 they dug in to the vitamins and and the in the uh uh bio cleanse these are the times that you learn 
something you didn't know about products. I learned something about the nerve, which I thought, or the ease, which I thought I knew everything about ease, but I don't, that how it could help with colitis. I didn't know this. So these moments are how you learn and grow in your own business. And I've been doing this for two years. I know everything, but I don't know anything because I don't know what I don't know. And I didn't know this. And so showing up is what, what we have. Um, so Melanie, when's the next one? It's coming up soon, right? Part two? Yeah, um, we actually have part two product training coming up this Wednesday, March the 1st. Um, it'll be 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. So um, that's 8.30 Mountain Standard where I'm at. And we'll post about that. We'll put a graphic and everything. And then we also will be making an announcement of a monthly thing that we're going to do for the entire team. So pretty darn excited about that. And it's actually right up the alley of everybody. This is for everybody. This is not just for business builders. This is not just for wholesale ambassadors. This is actually for everyone. Actually, awesome. people who aren't even in the plexus, <laughs> you know. So um, it's, it's pretty exciting. It'll be once a month. But the first one, part two of the product training, will be um, going on this Wednesday, uh, March the 1st. We will be posting part one um, within at least by Tuesday so that if you have some time to catch that before part two, it actually coincides and it's going to make more sense. So. Well, and then we also have a opportunity meeting and that Larissa is so grateful for letting us come in and um, do that. Is that March 11th? That's March 11th, yeah. March 11th. I'm at 10 a.m. So if you can't come because you live in another state, let me know. Because I can load that Zoom up and we can get on together. Because I've done it before. I can do it again. Okay. The meetings are just amazing. Our kids get to come and play. Uh, Larissa really digs into the products and how they can benefit. Janelle digs into the business and how it can help us. And we get to do it with our kids, which is a big deal for me because I have three of them now. So uh, March 1st, Zoom training, 30. March 11th, we have an opportunity meeting at Kiddos 101 in Riverside at 10 a.m. Can't make it. Get on Zoom with me. We'll work it out. Um, we've got some other things coming up, but we'll post those on the team page coming up so it's not too much for you to to remember. So March 1st and March 11th, all with ones. Right? Anything else coming up we need to hit? Um, I don't think so. In um, February is a short month, so just a reminder, if you think you have until the end of the week, it's actually, no, I wasn't lying, March 1st is Tuesday, right? this the Wednesday. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, I'm looking at the back office too, and a lot of people have their auto ship or they had their auto ship for the 25th or 26th, but many didn't, did not go through. And I don't know if it's because it's the weekend and maybe it'll go through tomorrow or, but normally, um, I don't know about y'all, but my debit cards <laughs> expire in February. So if you haven't checked that, that is on you and not on Plexus to remind you if your card expired. <laughs> so just FYI, I'm looking through, and people who normally have a process order, um, it hasn't gone through. And then that also means that the 28th is in two days, and that's your last day for the month. And if your process date is the 28th, you'll want to make sure it goes through that day to process for February and not March. So if you're a team leader, which means if you've invited someone to the business and you've sponsored someone, you need to log in and look at your genealogy and make sure that your team is getting their products because that's part of the business is um, making sure and following up, okay? And so, your customer report. And your oh. Sure, yeah. you have to be active because your customers could um, be like Melanie, where her, their cards expire, and then you need to check that. Or because this is a short month, they're thinking, "Oh, the twenty eighth, my products are going to ship," and there is no twenty eighth. There, are, you know, is there twenty days in February? There's yeah. twenty eight, but some people, it, yeah, it only goes twenty eight. What what I mean is, if you don't check your customer report, you're a, you are a leader, whether you have a team of ambassadors or not, because now you have customers that could potentially become. Mm -hmm ambassadors so on your customer report it'll list their next ship date and the last day of the month is a 28th in plexus system but if it's not set correctly it will not go out all right so these are just some housekeeping things that you can do 
Um, and just always logging your back office. We recommend logging in at least three times a month, the beginning, middle, and end, just to ensure that one, your products have gone out, two, that you've reconciled your accounts to see that when you've gotten paid, two, and that you know, if you report properly these are just little things that just come with it and it doesn't take hardly any time and you can do it from your phone right and last but not least if your auto ship does not go out by the 28th and you're in trim up you will be kicked out of trim up you'll be um, yeah they will they will disqualify you in trim up so everything you've worked towards trim up they'll take you out <laughs> Yeah, don't let that happen. If you have any questions about that, we have the support page that we're in. We can ask one another. We can help you call customer service, what have you. So um, if you guys have anything else, we can wrap up and then end this awesome February. I'm going to stop recording.